After his radical pension reforms, George Osborne has made another big announcement. This week, he said, a future Conservative government will pledge to full employment in the UK. The Chancellor channeled Churchill during his pledge to fight for full employment in Britain, and he deployed a modified riff from ex-Chancellor Norman Lamont, who said in 1992 that rising unemployment was a price well worth paying to defeat inflation. However, Osborne said, jobs matter. Mass unemployment is never a price worth paying. But Osborne didn't offer a definition of full employment. The Bank of England and the OBR have suggested that once the labour market's equilibrium rate for unemployment is reached, then full employment is achieved. It just so happens that the OBR has estimated that the equilibrium rate will be met in 2018. It's also worth noting that the UK's lowest recorded level of unemployment was 215,800, or 1%, in July 1955. That seems a few universes away from the most recent figures this year, putting the unemployment rate at 7.2% of the population and more than 900,000 young people out of work. Osborne's move could be a blow to Ed Miliband's Labour Party ahead of the general election next year. According to an opinion poll for The Observer, Labour is only on 33% against the Tories on 32%. With his full employment pledge, Osborne is charging straight into Labour's territory of unemployment and jobs. The question is, how will Miliband react?